This one is about um, an off-the-charts ethics violation that I was the victim of. Um, I was 21 years old. It's been a windy, interesting road getting to where I am now, almost 30, joint pain and all. But um, I was uh, 21. I was on the streets. I was homeless. I was depressed. I was suicidal. It was, it was whatever. I was a punk. It was cool. That's what they do. Um, but uh, so yeah, I'm out there, and um, when you're homeless, loneliness is such a massive thing, especially if you're interested in, um, I don't know, you just think existentially, you care about other people, you're lonely. And not just in a sexual way, but nobody wants to talk at you, talk to you, nobody wants to look at you, you don't shave, you smell, you go to the library, everybody knows you're there because you can't shower anywhere else, unless it's at the Y in a gang shower with a toothless man saying interesting things at you. Um, yeah, so that was my life. So I'm um, at a drop-in center where people are supposed to help you and give you things and help you get your life back on the right track. And um, this really cute young woman, she's a few years younger than me, um, an American woman, short, a little voluptuous. Um, and so, of course, I wanted to spend time talking to her. She's, I mean, if someone's going to help me get my life on track, I want it to be this woman instead of, like, the bald... 50-something white guy. Um, so yeah, so we're there, we're talking, she helps me with this, she helps me with that, a little bit of case management, a little bit of that, and then maybe like a couple weeks later, it's like, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting off in a little bit, um, we should we should hang out. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'd get more guidance. I'm very naive, I grew up uh, Catholic, but I got over it, thank you. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm very naive. I'm thinking, oh, she's just gonna help me. I'm getting special guidance. I need, I need extra insight. Um, so yeah, so we're riding bikes. We're we're in California. It's beautiful. Uh, it's not it's not dawning on me. This is potentially romantic. So we end up back at her house. I'm trying to cut out a lot of detail. We end up back at her house. It's getting dark. She's like, you should take a shower. I'm thinking, this is great. I never get to take a shower. It's it's so bad. Um, excellent. Uh, so I take a shower and I put on the cleanest thing I have, which is not clean, and we're sitting on her couch. She's like, you want a beer? I'm like, yes, I want a beer. I am so fucking broke, I want a beer. It's cold. It's great. Um, and then next thing I know, she's on top of me, and we are making out. And a part of me is like, this is great. Nobody wants to look at me. Nobody wants to touch me. This is great. And the other part of me is like, maybe you shouldn't. Um, but... but Fuck that, I'm so lonely, this is great. So we're, we're, we're pulling each other's clothes off, it's hours, we're doing it, it's great. We're in bed, it's, it's dark, the sheets are over our heads, we've done it like four times by now, because I haven't done anything or anyone, I haven't even jerked off, because I'm always in public, in months. Um, and then we're, we're, we're doing it, I'm going down on her, I remember it's great, she's these beautiful brown thighs, and it's uh, and, um, and then there, I hear something at the door, and I just freeze. I'm like, well, what's happening here? And she's like, oh, that's my husband. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm naked, I'm naked, I have your crotch all over my face. I'm, 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 and like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of small, but I can take care of myself. So, and I'm, I'm, I have a testosterone problem like you, unfortunately. And I'm thinking, I'm naked, I'm gonna have to fight this woman's husband, nude and undernourished and a little drunk and fuck! Um, so, the, he comes in, I'm just frozen under, under the sheets, um, I'm in her crotch, and for uh, one minute left, all right. Um, and he's just, I just hear this sigh. And then he walks to his bedroom, which is a different bedroom than the one we're in, because apparently they have a really fucked up marriage that isn't working out. So then she starts telling me about their marriage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've been doing this, he doesn't like it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the f This is too much for me, man. Like, I might be over God, but like, simple, I have simple ideas about relationships, and this is more than I can fuck. I got problems, I'm homeless. I, I'm depressed, I don't need this. So... Um, I, yeah, I'm done at that point. I roll over, I fall asleep. I fall asleep thinking at any moment I might have to wake up and fight. But, I, but you're used to that, so I fall asleep and it's cool. Um, yeah, so uh, a couple hours later I roll over, we end up doing it again because I'm lonely and, and my towel works. And whatever, you can make hay when the sun shines. And, oh, my time's up. So anyway, it's 8 a.m. 
I I have a, a volunteer thing at this other drop-in center where they let you work because you're a mess and they want to give you money to hopefully not do drugs and go home and do something differently. So I'm like, it's 8 a.m. I gotta go. I gotta put my shoes on. I gotta get out of here. This is this is not safe. Um, and I and I do that. Um, long story short, she's following me around for a week. She thinks we're gonna be in love. She thinks we're gonna have, have, have children. And uh, this is like the biggest off the charts ethics violation I've ever heard of. You don't fuck young homeless people who have all kinds of problems you need to work through just because uh, it makes you feel alive and your 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 marriage is a mess. Thank you. Thank you.